And this time for real, hello everyone who may be watching now later on YouTube, hit in here along with Lucky Hero. And welcome back to Something Sunday, and yeah, last week I said we'd continue with this game, with, uh, well, the other half of it, uh, since, <laughs> well, we completely played through uh, at least the story of Tower of Doom. So, this today we'll be going over Shadow over Mistara. And another game. It doesn't matter how long this one will take us, unless it starts going in like <laughs> over an hour and a half. Uh, but the other game we will play for an, a full hour as well. Let's see. Okay, it says something there about okay, the dwarf has the most hit points and can also deal the most physical damage in the shortest amount of time. Okay. The thief is a master of acrobatic skills in addition to the expected picking locks, attacking trap, and pickpocketing enemies. Huh. And I think yeah, what a, getting called just for something. Give me a minute. All right. Yeah. Oh, that something. Yeah. Typical case of call your name, but don't actually tell what the hell they want you to do. So if they're not going to say that, I'm not going to come down and interrupt this. Anyways, let's see. Magic user, one from the love. That was arguably the most powerful character in the game, but probably also the most vulnerable up until then. Uh, it is a, uh, these are these are some uh, these are some good little hints that the game probably wouldn't tell you on its own. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? It said something about the fighter having the highest armor class. Glide, uh, sliding, we didn't actually get to pull that off. So we... The Egg of Wonders? Okay. It, what? <laughs> that sounded like a bit of a glitch that they just advertised there on their own. And it's not determined how much SP you have to get a level 3, and then you must have at least 3000 SP. Okay, that's a bit odd. Mm -hmm. Four different endings per character class. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's actually get started with this instead of just reading the tips for an hour and a half. Yep. And again, we have a bunch of these levels. Or actually, not that many. This I, I don't actually remember how many there were in the last one. Nor do I. Uh, uh, yeah. I think one thing I find in other meetings of the D&D in class called Acrobat, which four people rogue was part of the game. Getting called again. <laughs> Getting called aside to help hang up a lamp for all freaking things. Uh, yeah, I'll con extend the stream for this. All right. Well, we went for helium. I we can see my room. And be very curious. Not the pants, you just a chicken burger, you have to feed your bread with some yeah, condiment and a little bit of uh, green stuff. Nothing too fancy.
Okay, back. Uh, yeah, he he swapped out the <clears throat> he swapped out the lights in them for a new different type. I don't know what specifically. Uh, but yeah, the the lamp ha part of the lamp is like a big ass stick plate of glass that well needs to be lifted up by someone else, whilst the thing is put back together. But yeah, I'll, uh... I'll extend the. Uh, I'll extend the second game by 10 minutes for that. And yeah, I'll have to for I'll have to fast forward so that in the I'll have to fast forward the recording of this for that because yeah, that <laughs> that'd be boring without. Anyways. Here we go. Okay, that is Magic <laughs> Magic U. Okay. You could have just called that the mage. We have Cleric, Magic User, Fighter, Elf, Dwarf, and Thief. It's nice. Yep. Uh, I did not press anything there. Two years have passed since the Battle of the Sable Tower. After defeating the Archlist Deimos and the bringing peace to the Republic of Delkin, the heroes now travel through the Broken Land to the, to the land of uh, Grand. Yeah, I can't speak today. Looking for new adventures, the story of Shadow of Mistara begins. Okay, let's see if I remember the controls. Okay, finally everyone shows up for once. It looks quite good. There are little like the older one, but a bit smoother. Let's see. Uh, A is the item. S is attack. D is jump. I guess we did like this guy, yeah. Every time they use the new game, they polish the old mod that looks better than bad, or that they use the same mod, or basically. And for a moment I thought these goblins were attacking us with sticks, but no, those are axes made out of sticks and stones. Uh, Wait. Yeah. <laughs> um, look at this shield. Those look like bombs, almost. No, no. Those are the bombs, William. Mm. Those are whoops. <laughs> yeah, the frying pants. Basically, oh. <laughs> oh. Yes, yes. Now I see what is going on. They haven't made the help sound any less annoying. Get yeah, they're <laughs> yeah, coming through here. Yeah, villagers are being kidnapped. Oh, and oh no, that's the okay. For a moment, I thought the character was talking. Uh, but okay, let's see if I can fill in Hillian again with this. Let's uh, see if we fight this time by accident. I was curious if you should say elf. Just for reality. Yeah. I don't know what I might have accidentally hit. I'm pretty sure I had my... Maybe I accidentally hit control here because I had my hand over the arrow keys for that. Oh. <laughs> and I didn't get the... Wait, I'm pretty sure I thought I hit the end there. Ilya, what a mighty name. Um, debatable, I say. Granny behind. I think I saw someone with a very tiny head. Okay, let's see if I picked up anything from the last one. And, well, yeah, I... I know I went for the lowest difficulty this time, but that's basically to prevent dying every other screen. Oh, hello. And <laughs> present for you. Yeah, the more I see, I feel like they do the old game smaller and stuff. They have polish them up a little bit. They look smooth when playing. Yeah, the but main oh. menu screen did say that this one is more mechanically complex as well. Yeah, so they probably also added more uh, model uh, movement and all that. And if you're gonna reuse the model, might as well uh, improve with the uh, time to stay coming. Oh, our bears already. Okay. Yeah, these were a mini boss last time. 
yeah, and they do look terrifying, how to say. Even though their heads are not really our life. Oh, is that me switching? Okay, uh, give me that then still. Hmm. I think one of the goblins used an echo last time, right? I didn't notice then. What's happening now? Oh, uh, hello. Oh. Okay, we got a goblin a warlord on a war machine. Oh. Uh, um. Uh, it's literally called War Machine. <laughs> okay, and he said something there, but I missed it. Oh, and now they're torching the entire village. Yeah. I think I know what's going on. I think you need to hit them and stop, but also, yeah. Hit the goblins behind him. Yeah. He's just to use an animal, he has to use his own. Uh, uh, the damn thing has a flamethrower. Okay, <laughs> since we are going to die exactly when I say it. Okay, that's one continue and. Okay. But nothing seemed to happen until I clicked there, <laughs> and then he just Iron man in from the ceiling. Okay, I... Yeah, they upped the difficulty quite a bit already, I, I'd say, if this is how... We take less damage now, of course, due to the lower difficulty, but with how many enemies they throw onto the screen... And how fast this motherfucker goes... Yeah. yeah, you'd get killed here quick already. Yeah, and wait, what's this winkling level? Yep. Oh, come on. I didn't know that Wily Coyote had extended family in Mistara. Wait, what? Oh, level 13. Oh, that explains a bit why the... <laughs> yeah, it, this is a sequel to the previous one, so it does make some sense that the levels would be retained. So it is meant to remember the older game's levels. Um, yeah. But kudos, but that was very... I think that was very unusual in the past. Like, most games wouldn't be able to remember that. Unless it was meant as an expansion. But uh, mm. as two separate games, it wouldn't uh, not work like that, I think. I remember something here. That the boat is a trap or something. Or bait any... No, I think... Uh... Spoonie once said that if you're, if in a, if you're in a D&D campaign and you're offered a trip by, by road or by boat, Take the road because you are going to get ambushed <laughs> by sea beasts. And the hell? <laughs> okay. Oh, oh wait, we, we swapped weapons? Okay. Yeah, that, is, that is definitely the new. Yep. Yeah, it looks like it's a long sword and a. Uh... Long dagger or short sword? It might be a long dagger. Yeah, probably a short sword. Uh, I remember in Dungeons & Dragons you can offhand uh, short swords usually without too much penalty. Yeah, for... I like it if, uh, if you want to do a wheel, you need to have the bigger one in the main and a smaller one in the hand. Uh, the offhand ones will be more useful for when they get too close for the longer work on or when they need to parry. Yeah, I, I jumped right into that. And typically it's rangers who'd more usually uh, dual wield. 
I think. Though fighters can do it as well. And hellhounds already. Then again, we seem to be fighting goblins who have escaped, <laughs> seem to have escaped from the Industrial Revolution. Or a generally. Okay, give me that. I, I said give me... I, I kind of like that they've done goblins with the kitchen tools and shields and... That's one of the trophies you don't see not goblin do uh, not anymore. Rod of Lightning. I wonder why I couldn't pick up those rings. Up. Uh, no, it was W to switch. Oh, okay, yeah, this. That is a lot use more useful. I think one of them is just called you stupid. Guards, dagger. Okay, so I can. Sl I can swap between. Uh, don't you point at me? <laughs> the heck did, did I pull up some sort of charge there? I hope this thing that you can't block, finally. Yeah. Uh, I'm, way, I'm way too used to space being... Yeah, jump and such. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just I zip over. Have... Oh, well, uh, the hell are you? Is that some sort of Oni? A dark warrior, it's a freaking demon. And I, I pulled that off again there, but what is that? Uh, whatever, well, whatever this thing is, it's going to kill us. <laughs> right there. Uh, uh, wait, what the hell? And, uh, I lost it. I lost sound for a bit there. Uh, why are we suddenly that dwarf? Yeah, what? What are you calling the dwarf? Well, it's not the dwarf. We all the dwarf. Wait, bigger than you are. Well, I think the dwarf is doing better. Yeah, they have. It was said that they have the most health and damage. Come on. We have better reach too. Despite being shorter. Well, we don't have a big rock now, so. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> With one final jump attack. And you were just going to <laughs> walk away, huh? What okay. is this warrior one? Yeah, we'll need to take a look at this inventory system. Um, okay. Oh, I think we're gone. If it, the, one of the cat has died too much time, another will replace them. Maybe. I'm not too sure about it. I'm, I'm, I think I broke something or something. <laughs> and apparently it doesn't have space for a, a seventh letter. Uh, let's wait. Uh, what? Hammer, arrow, dagger, silver, silver dagger, and oil. Um, can we sell these? Nope. Hmm. Why can we do that if you confirm them? I we can screw them into trash, seriously. Yeah. Um, well, it did say that the ending we get depends on how much gold we have. Or silver. So, okay. yeah, let's save that all up. Okay. Yeah, this text is going real fast as, again as well. Okay, the drawer up the stuff again.
Okay. Oh, okay. And dragons. Okay. Or, wait, are those? The oh, the draw. I don't know of why you're Another. No. I don't have to this time. Oh. Yeah, priestess. Yep, I don't Okay, I can't identify the other one gender than I read. Yeah. But they are moving way too quickly. That one is definitely a woman on a wyvern. Yep. A different or colored dwarf? Thing. I have no idea what's going on with this. Well, you do look a bit more the like Again freaking space. Heartbeat, okay. And do I need to be in front of this thing to open it up? Okay, we did use a key there. <laughs> there I am. I'm guessing that those were boots of speed in there. Oop. Ah, come on. Come on. Did, okay, how did I pull that off? <laughs> Is that a portal over the club? Yeah. That's hey, new. Hey, come on, let's make some KFC. KF Harpy. You. <laughs> Uh, and are we going? I I really don't get why we we keep swapping like this. And I want to see what's in this freaking box. If these shadow elves leave me alone for enough time to actually get it. Okay, just get rid of you. Uh, <laughs> no time. Oh, uh, hello. Oh, not, not, not oh, another no. of you jackasses. How? And it, he doesn't sound like a, it's a better voice actor than the other one. Yeah, like he hasn't been sniffing helium all of his life. Yeah, though he seems to have prioritized his presence with I don't know if that works or not. And they actually yeah, gave him a name this time. Or this guy a name. The other one was simply Shadow Elf. Yeah, his armor is interesting, but the thing about the... They took the stereotypical female armor and put it on him instead. Come on, sit still. I'm trying to get rid of the scout. Again, that's charge attack. How do I pull that... That's, that's one thing with these old arcade games. There was a lot of things that they wouldn't tell you. Is that a headbutt? Yeah, yes it is. Okay, here we go again. I still don't get why we've suddenly changed color and class. Oh, uh, hello. Uh, uh, hello. Wait. They're they're a palette swap of the him. <laughs> uh, who the hell are you? Okay, a nice little detail is that it said escape, not a defeat. 
It looks so weird to see that armor. I'm hoping they mean at and not in. <laughs> oh, and where did you uh, idiot skull come from now? Yeah, they were probably all hiding in the hall while we were doing all the work. Uh, let's go to the city. <laughs> And our health has been completely refilled after, well, getting all of it nuked down by that elf. Oh, God. Again, I think I'm used to see that style of armor more female, so when I finally see it and I'm male, it just looks so... Odd? Yeah, the only time I've seen that armor not on females has been, of course, on more bestial or barbaric characters. I don't know how to yeah, that, it, it's a bit unusual. At least that combination style. Okay, the sign said something about the anklet strengthening your feet. Uh, oh, that's how we we jump a lot higher. Or we jumped a lot higher. Yep, and oh, huh? that's a pair again. Why is... Okay, why did he seem to be jumping so much higher there? Uh, oh, come on. Nothing, and it's Wait. just a shrug in my <laughs> symbol. Wait, hold on. This guard. Yeah. You can finally block. <laughs> what the heck? Yep. And it's still of little use if we get surrounded like that. Okay, just Are punch these guys up. Have you enchanted your weapon or something? Nope. Of course, typical dwarf, he prioritizes picking up the treasure over attacking. Hey, was that a... What, what is that? Is he about to pull off and trip in his group? Yep. I think I pulled off some sort of combo there again. Like, he... Oh, hello. Over. Haven't seen you in a bit. Let's pick up that. I have no idea how I'm pulling off the slide in the other attacks. Like, come on. Uh, okay, you're calling your brother. <laughs> Too early. Oh, we can swap between. Okay, that that is nice. Um. Ah, uh, yeah, the the cleric. Now it makes sense how you could see them in the cutscenes, at least. I guess they themselves have maybe been in court. Well, they couldn't see the other one in cutscenes, so one of them see them all of them in this battle. So, go look for that. Yep, wait, he blocked. Okay. And we're going to die again. Just as that's an advantage, it means that if you notice that your character is not work with a fight, you just change the character that may have better chance for the fight. Yeah. Wait. Oh. Did... The levels are different. Was... Ah. Wasn't the dwarf like level 12 earlier? And why is why is the elf only level 8? Oh, and apparently it picks for you if you take too long. Yeah, you have a timer though. I 
Nice. Yeah, he does. Okay, the clever can bless and, well, bless weapons, apparently. Uh, come on, finish this guy off. Okay, grab as much as we can. What if you're having so tiny shields? Probably more populous and uh, large than in the Yakuza shields, just small. Okay, again, we're trying to save up. So, yeah, it seems that the more coin you save in the game, the more likely you'll be spending in real life. Sound you to three. Okay. So, we have the typical uh, I will summon this demon to destroy the land for me and hopefully not get destroyed myself along the way. And hello, Manticore. How did I jump backwards there? Manticore looks quite terrifying. Yep. <laughs> okay, dead. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to the dwarf. I still have no idea how we managed to sp how we managed to change color. Oh. Uh, let's start using up stuff. Okay. It flaps its wings and then it dive bombs. That is acting for mythology. I wonder why many games are slip over that the magical supposed to be able to shoot these things that people. Okay, come on. And there we go. And once again, just loot all we can. <laughs> Oh, hello. Why does it keep asking for this if it can just... Uh, every time we die, it's... Hmm. Uh, <laughs> okay, make it Haley B, then. I was pixelated for a moment as I put in the road Haley Bob. <laughs> Come on, we have a key for this thing. Maybe you need to select the key. Yeah, the key can't be selected. Uh, okay. What about the other best one? Yes, yes, yeah, Navi. Got yeah, lost. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we, we need to stand in front of it. Okay. Those are those magic earrings again. Yeah, that, that wasn't smart of me to walk in between. I don't know if that crouching is good for anything because I keep accidentally activating it. Maybe we can dodge some attack. Uh... Oh, hello. And of course, the enemies aren't affected by the traps. Yeah, that, that, 
if enemies are affected by traps, it always makes the games a lot more fun. Since you, again, with how do I pull off those moves? Because you can, uh, yeah, then use the environment against them, specifically. Yeah, yeah I kind of like that. I've, I've seen some games where they implemented that right way. I've also seen some games where it's implemented so yeah, a bit awkwardly or just bad. They end up not doing it, but it's more work than it's worth doing. Yeah, one of the games that does it well, I'd say, uh, would be Dark Messiah of Might and Magic, which is among my favorite games, specifically because of that. I'm alright. And Achievement Unlocked Apprentice. Nice. Yeah, some of the been a bit bad, but probably because it needs so bad, I probably forgot them until I play it again on the stage or something. Yep, yep. <laughs> I'd say after this. I only now okay. noticed that we could scroll to the left there. In the previous game, we could only go right. But as I was saying, if you go to do environmental traps and stuff, that you're not facing, you know it's you, make sure it's easy enough to do it that it's worth doing, and not like an entire challenge just to do it. Now we're back to red. Yeah, I was trying to say some of this earlier, but a lot of these old arcade games, they don't... Of course, they don't come with a manual, so they have a lot of hidden stuff inside of them. And, yeah, people had to figure that out through the trial and error. Yeah, which means more coin. Yep. Okay, yeah. Uh, who the heck? Cut. Go. Nope. And oh, no. that's an instant kill if you fail. <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. Arrows. Petrification. Are we going to find a Medusa? Gargoyles are immune to non magic attacks. What? Okay. We might have a problem then if our axe isn't magic. Yeah, it looks like it might be. Uh, I think I know why it's uh, you have a different color than a dwarf. I think I guess this is the thing where you can be two of the same characters. It's usually in different color palette. Yeah, I. That does make sense. Now, come on. Get ready if you want to be nudists. Nice try. Now, oh, even more. Go find a beach. Uh, I think those are male uh, Lodden. Can I assassinate? They seem like they can be in a very wood elf like just like dark wood elf. Uh -huh. Gimme. Give now you. Oh. For some reason, you didn't want to pick those up. And yeah, yep. that go get little. Okay, can I hurt these things or not? Then yes, I can. So the axe is magic. That just means that most of the uh... shut up, Navi. <laughs> that most of the items will be useless against these. So let's use something that is magical then. Nice. How? Your health bar is obviously empty. No, oh, come on! <laughs> okay, just for you. Wait. Maybe I need ma to to heal them. Maybe, yeah. Like the troll dealer. Gee. So, maybe if you decide to be the troll, just get the to land a final killing blow, you need to use magic. Silver arrow. Uh, let's get rid of that. What is this? Magic missile, okay. Oh dear. And what are we walking? 
More ghouls. Yeah, the, li the lightning bolt spell would have been useful here. Especially with them all lined up. What the? What knocked them over? Yeah, us coming down. So oh. Probably to prevent us from getting just ganked in instantly. Alright, that would make sense. Okay, lots of gems. Yeah, they should invent an AOE pickup here already. Another a, <laughs> a chest, a key in a chest that requires a chest, a key. Yeah. Another lightning bolt ring and another key. Okay, shut up, Navi. Um, hello. Oh, hello, Deimos. <laughs> Dr. Deimos Doom. Uh, yeah, this is Deimos, yes. Uh, yeah, we can. Yeah, no, you're, you are very fast now. And what the heck is that bird creature we are? It looks like a hag of sorts. Let's spot this chest here. Gimme, gimme. Oh, uh, that was a boot. <laughs> Those were boots of speed. Uh, come on, now I'm getting. Now I'm getting corner camped. Okay. Uh, I think the game had told about this running thing in the Tower of Doom, which would be very useful <laughs> if I'd remembered that earlier. And that's a miss. <laughs> oh, hello, what is that? Is that a shield? Flame shield. And it was dropped. Okay. Someone else used it. No, the inventory is full. Oh. Hey, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, sleep spells. And they just run off. They grow of destruction. Yeah, this must be the earlier iteration of... Uh... Drow, uh, when they were not underground dwellers before. Yeah, and that that sign sounded like we were speaking of a shed of a displacer beast again. Which I, I must say, I have I haven't played much uh, Dungeon Dragon stuff. Uh, I've played Neverwinter, uh, the game and the online game, and Neverwinter. Uh, Knights 2. Uh, oh, hello there, Displacer Beast. Really? Yeah. yeah I played... I have to play Border Screen. I played maybe with the Knight 1 and maybe with the Knight 2. Uh, I seem an unlocked Gold Digger. digger. Okay. Uh, yeah, I must say that the Displacer Beast I find to be the, the coolest beast of them all from what I have seen and such. I didn't know they were that old of a concept. I, I think... I'm pretty sure... Displacer Beasts were in like the first edition. Alright. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I also played Iceman Dale. Hoping. Well, right today. Okay. They were older, so they were not really always wanted to work with the two things. Yeah, I never finished Neverwinter Nights 2 because my save group get, kept getting lost and eventually I just gave up on it. I win. Here's the thing, what I played, uh, I have played two, I almost finished it, but I had a bug that I, uh, I could almost not die, but when I get 
I needed the rest of my team to do things. So I was stuck. Achievement unlocked Stumptastic. That is probably for those down attacks. But yeah, so yeah. There are many games I've been able to finish. Either I get stuck on grinding or you have to find a bottle of food to improve speed rating to finish. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I managed to get to the end game of the base game because it has an, an expansion. But yeah, I, I keep kept losing my saves and after you've already put like 40 hours into just to try and get there and just to lose it all, yeah, no. Yeah, that sounds like a weird bond. Boots of speed. Skin of the Displacer Beast. Okay, now I... Uh, yeah. Cloaks, uh, the hell? A gnome? A damn tiny gnome! Uh, might as well go save them, since we don't know where the hell this sorcerer is. Alright, I think I remember now. Forest gnomes were extra small compared to regular gnomes or something. Yeah, let's so see, that's do we get paid for this? Hobbit. Okay, we do get paid for the stuff that we... Uh, throw away and that mu that must be one of those eggs of infinity and we'll have to see what those do and yeah we have 3,000 silver pieces like the game said we'd need for the best ending but yeah I, I can see how this game well a lot of these arcade games have a lot of replayability but to give every character four endings of their own, yeah, that for people to see all of that, you'd have to play through this a lot of times. Uh, yeah. Come on. And yeah, with and enough one... time, you'd get plenty of practice to actually get good at this game. Yeah, if you were good at the first game, you had an easier time learning this one. And this can also at least offer more flexibility in fighting and what you can do. Rocks drop, I don't die. <laughs> Wait, we can actually break the chest after? A medal? Uh, no, we want that. Displacer Beast uh, cloaks, from what I hear, are very good because they, they well, it gives you a bit of the evasive ability of them. And what the heck is this? Oh, now that is a poison trap. <laughs> oh, they're jumping off you, it seems, for that. I guess they got over you that they actually got it worked on you. Uh, skeletons are typically unintelligent undead, and the boots of speed broke. Oh, dear, no. Can we go in here? No, we can't. See? And another of these bridges. Yep, a good place for an ambush because it's a choke point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely an ambush from all those all here. I have to, I, I have to say in part I like the uh, well the enemies just coming in to attack from the sides because it is smart. Oh, oh did I just duck underneath those? On yeah. the other, it is uh, a bit annoying to have to deal with da sudden damage <laughs> like that. Okay, trapped. Hello. I thought to think that all chests that look like that are trapped. Yeah, not all of them so far, I think. And hello. Troglodytes in a cave. Why should I not be surprised? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that makes them. Oh. That was an accidental use. And I'm guessing there was some sort of poison cloud. Gimme. Hmm. 
Yeah, continuing on from a bit with these old arcade games, a lot of learning how uh, what everything did was had to be done through trial and error. Like I have no idea what that what that medal would do. Uh, the one that we oh, come on, we just got that freaking ring. What the heck was that? Hmm? That's getting... <laughs> okay, just run up charging it instead. Come on. Stop to pick something up. Yeah, let's... That's a magic missile ring again. Lightning bolts. Uh, let's let's use these up. Oh. oh, hello, Chimera. Okay. Come on. Okay, so it's similar to the <clears throat> to the Manzacore in both design and attack, and it. Even though we are on the lowest difficulty, we've still used almost as much coin uh, as with the Tower of Doom. <laughs> Wait, did we? Did we just headbutt it <laughs> at high yeah. speed? You headbutted a Mantor and wait. Yeah, I think they actually reused the mental model and just paint around their head. Yeah. I'm not against when people reuse a model. At least when you do it with Sandwich and here. Let's see what this Egg of Infinity does. Our, when I see people... If you... Basically, if you don't just reuse a model and all that, make sure you do it well. I mean, at least it looks good. I just want to know it when I see it. it's very obviously a remodel or something and it looks bad. Uh, it seems that the Egg of Infinity summons an owl bear for us. Oh! <laughs> uh, oh. Okay, I, I think if he'd been fast enough, we could have picked it up again. Uh, anything else? And that's a miss again. <laughs> okay, if it goes real high, then it's going to uh, pounce. If it stays in on medium altitude, it's going to breathe its flames. Yep. Or that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and the, the, the dwarf just headbutts af after it charges. That's, that's the excuse to why he had on a helmet. Even yeah. though he'll put him at home, the helmet is not a good idea. Yeah, since it, it's still ring your own bell as well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, who were all of those people? Those were not... Oh, those were the gnomes. And it wasn't you who defeated the Chimera, it was us. Uh, I missed what it was they were talking about, but oh well, let's buy this, whatever it is. Oh, <laughs> it's just a, we, a shrinking potion to uh, be able to use the facilities. <laughs> Alright, is this the era before gnomes were playable? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Uh, the heck is all of this? I don't think see a half ring. Oh, we, we can buy wands here. Bastards. Okay, weapon upgrades. Okay, a much more expanded shop here. <laughs> okay. That's one beef of gnome. A shot of ink that walk. Uh, we don't need to heal up. These weapons aren't really too useful. 
though, judging by how they are going to the cave Raphael and take this a floating stone and, and we'll make you float in the air. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, uh, Raphael the immortal inside of his... Hmm. To the dark underbot. So basically the, the underdark before it was the underdark. Uh, as I was trying to say with... All of those items look to be made out of silver. So... Be... Oh, we are going down really far. Uh... Hmm? Oh, dude. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Start it anew, see if that works instead. Yeah, and come recall, the Clyde thing just ended the stream thing automatically before you call it back again. Uh, I didn't call back, so that was Discord reconnecting. Uh, yeah, the, the router died there for people watching, so I'll have to do even more anything on this. <clears throat> How long did it take for you to notice the router died? Uh, long enough. Uh, well, I didn't have a choice in that. Uh, basically, uh, I didn't know where it ended up. It, I may mostly noticed by you going silent. But uh, yeah, we're in the next level. Uh, uh, last that you got to see was the gnome village, right? Yep. Um, yeah, I basically wrote uh, in the. If you look at this code, around uh, twelve fifty six. What happened to the stream? For you were in the middle of the sentence, then suddenly I heard a voice tearing, you know, the, the digital voice tear, then just poof. Yeah, yeah. basically what has happened is that uh, we're, we've basically gone into the Underdark before the Underdark, and the, sto the floating um... stone activated, All right, and... <clears throat> Yeah, we got to choose three options to go over a lot, take a, a stone bridge over a, a lava sea, over an ice sea, or follow a, a dwarven guide through uh, the caves. And uh, yeah, we're currently on the path of follow, uh, not not follow this, the, la this lava sea. All right, um, could you screen share for me, please? Uh, let's see, can I still change this? Uh, no, I cannot change. I cannot change it to Windows at the moment. It seems. Okay, that's going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. So, hmm. Okay, we let's let's do a quick exit. It should have saved at the level start. Then in here, I can switch it back to Windows. Which will probably yeah, mean that the stream, that OBS will drop it for a bit. All right. I, I know that it broke in mid of you being in a in the gnome smithy. Then you were to say so. But in mid of your sentence, it just cut out. Okay. Apparently, OBS didn't lose sight of it somehow, even though it, it's not full screen anymore. Now it is though. Okay, now we should be able to continue. Will it actually save our progress? Okay. Wait, oh, I was done. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, we've been going with the with the dwarf long enough. Put OBS on the front on the second screen so I can keep a good eye on it. Uh, yeah. Uh, the elf is a magic user, so uh, le yeah, let's let's give her a try. Uh, I think it's uh, meant to be a hybrid, like a I mean, fighting a and spell. spells. Yeah, something like a spell blade. Do I'm sure if that. Oh. Was, okay. uh, our our gold and points have been reset. So oh, we're, we are not getting that 
we're not getting that best ending. Maybe if we picked the dwarf, it would have saved it, but oh well. Okay, huge castle in the distance. Wait. Okay, so that third option is only if we completed the previous level, or if we're playing as the dwarf. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this this game has quite some surprises. Again, with the... F I should... Actually, can I change... No, I cannot change... No, no, no. I cannot change what the space bar does. And uh, one tip for anyone working on games. Rebindable keys, rebindable keys, rebindable keys. Because otherwise you're going to annoy the shit out of some of your players. Yeah, I expect that maybe that was a difficulty for when uh, doing uh, the remote of this one. Oh, oh hello. Right. <laughs> Acrobatics should be expected from an elf. Okay, right. okay we have a limited amount of these. Not sure if that was audible on the mic, but that was uh, basically that was asked, being asked, uh, is the internet on for you again? Yeah, is this you English is working again, luckily enough? Well, well, this may as well, due to the storm, actually, without the internet for a short moment. Is it very windy over by you? Uh, doing what? Is it very stormy and windy by your place? No. Dave, oh. it. Oh. Wrong button again. It's clear day outside. Yeah, clear day here, just windy. Though yesterday was worse. So, yeah, that, that was basically the provider having a heart attack or something. Alright. Yeah. Sometimes when the internet goes out, it can be from the pro provider the uh, internet pole or something being knocked down or something. Oh, hello. Okay, we can swap through different menus. We have infinite arrows. As well, <laughs> elves and arrows go together <laughs> like nothing else. Oh, yeah. Um, flame salamander. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, no chill on this guy and um uh, hello. <laughs> we just Scrooge McDuck the Salamander. <laughs> okay, that is certainly a surprise. Yeah. Okay, let's continue with her a bit a different color again. What what is with that? Uh, it's... No, yes. Okay, didn't do as much damage as I really expecting, but uh, he had. Oh. This this guy is relentless, and well. He is made of fire, so of course he's going to go fast. And In aggression? Okay, come on, let's corner camp you. Yep. So much for that. Oh, hello. I'm guessing he's invulnerable whilst in that state. Okay, yeah. <laughs> These bosses are obviously meant to just eat up someone's quarters in the arcade. Yeah, and it's also probably meant to be multiplayer as well. Yeah. Wait, can, can we... we can aim that? 
Okay, <laughs> I wasted most of that. And it sounds like the elf is saying, I'm not down yet, in an almost Japanese accent. Okay, back to the dwarf. Many voices that you hear are having a type of Japanese accent that I hear. Yeah, a lot of these games are made in Japan, so it, it makes sense. Yeah, or you might not always be cheap to get an extra voice actor just to do the English line. This, this guy is really uh, freaking annoying because you almost can't touch him for a lot of the time. Yeah. And he has really long range with that freaking spear of his. Yep, and I also remember, you could use the bow on him with the elf. Yeah. Wait, did you, did you even die? What's what going on? Oh, hello. The hammer stun. Okay, so hammers would be very useful against this guy. Probably something we might have <laughs> figured out something uh, earlier. Hello. And once again, it's asking for our name. Probably because it thinks it's an arcade still. Yeah. Uh, what are you doing down here if in the first place? And yeah, silver dagger, hammer, silver arrows. I think it fell into a very deep well by accident and never got up. Yeah, we're in a fire area, so the oil is kind of useless. Uh, actually, let's sell as much of these as we can to see how good of an ending we can still get our hands on. Yeah, how much gold do you have at the moment? Uh, three, seven, eight. Though I doubt in one level we'll be able to find 2,000 silver pieces. Uh, yeah. It remembers it, it you, I see with the hmm. Let's use this to enter there. Let's use what? A, a warp crystal from Damus. Wait, you weren't e even there, I think. <laughs> and of course, the, the thief, the thief, the, the thief pocketed up the the most valuable loot for themselves. <laughs> and wait, this looks exactly like Deimos' castle. I'm pretty sure. That, that is new. But... Okay. <laughs> Is this going to be a puzzle area? Nope. Oh, Pluto. Oh, oh dear. God, I remember the first time I saw Cobalt in Baldur's Gate. Due to the animation being so, you know, early on. I actually thought Cobalt were dog rats with horns. <laughs> yes, the quality was that bad. And, and you hear yourself this town, they all barking. Yeah. Or So yeah, you can get to my confusion as a child. Okay, so that jumping the the dwarf can jump that far by default. Oh, happy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Odin, yeah, that didn't yeah, yeah. that didn't even seem to give the option to wiggle and get out. Yep. And don't forget, I think you were. It took you at least uh, almost ten minutes to realize you lost internet. Uh, not really. Like more like a few. Like I said, it, I noticed it more by you going silent, so it, it was more like a few minutes at most. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I noticed it directly due to... If you're, if, if there's some cop, the picture 
froze a bit. I could still move my mouse and all that and shrink the screen out. Then it just shut down. And we had, but it was, uh, you, know, you know, this disc on the dot was greyed out. And more assassins. Come on, let's deal with you guys uh, quick. I don't know if there's any good with Kimitars. Yeah, Skimitars would be even more curved, I think. Alright, yeah, then it's probably a same or none. Yeah. If I will pick her and will pick him straight, I would say Falcon. But that would be a more issue that we want. You guys again. Okay, let's grab as much as we can get. I do wonder. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, you again. Yeah. And I accidentally I skip. I think I, I recognize the armor now. It, it is very, very early on uh, anime fantasy. By, uh, Anime inspired Dungeon I like this effect. Okay, only 3 attempts. That was impressive. Okay. 20 <laughs> quarters would have been lost by now. Yep. Yeah. Now you feel like that always bug me as a kid when I was younger about the older anime days. And that's, well, why have two the clouds that are basically air wings, and air fly wings? Now the jack is using haste. What the heck? Yeah, he's using haste, so he's making himself super fast. Yeah, uh, nothing exactly this annoying to look at that when he's not that. Okay, whatever that spell was, it did absolutely nothing. Somehow we ended up throwing that behind him. And here we go again. Let's see if you can deal with a jumping dwarf. He can deal with a jumping dwarf. <laughs> well, you didn't jump far enough. Come on, and come up. There we go. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Wait, if if the elf can switch inventories, then the dwarf can likely too. Let's see. Uh, no, I'm pressing the button that <laughs> moved it with the elf, but nothing is happening. Might be you need uh, something that the elf has, uh, just actual spells, unlike the dwarf. Yeah, she, ha she has three inventory screens. Oh, okay. One for spells, one for something else. And how do we actually, how do we use that rod if we can't even see it in the inventory? I think you dropped your rod. Maybe it's the word you can't use at all. Okay, deal with you again. Come on. Why do we keep going for the stupid rod when I know I can't use it? Wait, is it healing? It's healing. Okay, screw you then. And we walked into a wall. Yeah, it could mean that you need a magical item to prevent it from healing. Yep. <laughs> okay, Frosty Elf. Yep, not Frosty Elf, Frosty Dwarf. <laughs> oh, that dwarf would be so angry if you heard you now. 
Bye bye. Or <laughs> different bye. Oh, okay. That dealt enough damage to actually kill them outright. Oh, you almost got an achievement for the gold thing. Yeah, how are you? Are you you're checking that on the Steam? I'm guessing. Uh, it's just right next to your screen that under the dwarf name. In the oh, game. oh, not I. Oh, uh, did not mean to use that. Whatever that was. Uh, I don't think those are achievements, those are challenges in the game. Yes, and you almost... wait. Yeah, I think you do almost things one time. Yeah, pick up a 10,000 SP, that's across both games. And I And we all... I'll be almost there to finish the game. Yeah, this is this is probably it. Oh. Ezra Hosen the Okay. I, I, I'm guessing this is a race of some sort or Yep, yep. Hey, get get off. Yeah, this is some sort of race. No, not any sort that I'd know. Okay, come on, up, motherfucker. Okay, well, since we're dealing with a ghost, let's see how they go and deal with holy magic. It's on board. Yeah, those are cure spells. What a f and oh, we have more spells here as well. Uh, let's see what we have. Earthquake. Okay. Cast that quick. <laughs> and of course, that did nothing against the floating specter. <laughs> Oh, the whole person. I was thinking, what the hell is that? Uh, holy words? Uh, wrong targets. And that used up. <laughs> we only had one use of that. It, Wait, you summoned snakes? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, grab as much as we can. I doubt this is the last boss. Yeah. yeah uh, here that, we go that, again. That did really feel like a final boss uh, fight. Yeah, the lich. The the lich mid boss was better, worse than that. Level nineteen. Oh, uh, hello. Um. Oh. He are we we are back at three thousand gold or silver pieces in this case? Like, I... Seriously, what is this? It's gone now since last when we tried to use it, it was absolutely useless. Uh, let's not buy that, just in case we don't find that much gold. Battle Royale. Uh... Yep. Okay. okay, come on up to them. Okay, yep. Gotcha, bitch. Okay, it's just simple enough. They're just going to come at us in, in, in numbers and try and overwhelm us. Uh, 
let's see. Who haven't we tried before? The thief. Okay, that we definitely would have needed to jump to actually dodge that one. Okay, come on. Uh, what are your special abilities? A sling. Why do you like these inspired things of Persia? I don't actually know when. I think Prince of Persia came out before this game. Yeah. Let's see. It was popular in Japan, and they did some Japanese port to it, and even added, yes, anime scene to it, which... Yeah, the English was like the other game, but the, the English version was a bit... Uh, uh, did not use the... Did not think of what kind of voice they were using? So it came up with a little bit more... Uh, yeah, I have to say, it's a bit too erotic by mistake. Yeah, Prince of Persia is another series that we could add to the two stream list eventually. And I think Wait. you have to do that. Okay, have to I do must it. have forgotten to note those down, and I just noticed the thief can double jump. Yeah, you, I do suggest to be very careful for. I did watch some reviews of the other one, and. Dell box. And some things that basically I worry you may end another situation of uh, what we have to suffer from uh, the game. Okay. Uh, okay, come on. It seems I can sort of spam the sling. I was not clicking multiple times there, <laughs> she did that out of her own. Oh, yeah, I'm they guessing this. Now, I'm yeah. guessing this strategy with the thief would be to go for a quick hit and run attacks. <laughs> Can we cut it out with the stupid crouching? It doesn't have pretty. It almost has no use. Any traps that you can probably duck underneath, you can also just jump over. And. Let's go with the last class and... Okay, big ass stick. <laughs> Was that it? A dart? Control. This stuff is very elaborate and programmable. And he's only wearing rags. Come on, stupid arrow traps. Let's even unlock Plunderer. A lot of boxes laying around, and more gargoyles. At least you have map. Seriously. Okay. The, how? I was pointing the other way, and they. And that completely missed. Come on! Now you're just fucking me over with these traps. Give me that. Let me go get son of a Get out of the fucking way. Okay, now it's the hag we're fighting. I think it's a hag or And of course they run away. And uh, oh, hello. Don't worry, too. Okay, so that's why there was a Don't Worry One. And wait, World War Two. Wait, and more. I'm guessing that's meaning towards its health or something. Yes, they go him for. What the heck? Okay, enough of that. Back to the dwarf. Wait, what? Now we can see his health? What? Okay. 
So is that just an ability that the, the mage doesn't have for some reason? Was that a roll? I, there's so there's so much mechanics of this game that I just have no clue about it, even less of a clue of how to pull off. Yeah. Then again, we did say earlier that a lot of things with these arcades were just not explained and were left for people to find out on their own. Yeah. Okay. Come on. <sighs> yeah, this is the uh, give me your coins boss. <laughs> I see no way you could dodge that uh, circle, that circle of fire attack after yep, it teleports yeah. like that. Yep. See. And I realized his sword is very twistable shape. And did it again. We're now at 29 quarters wasted on this. It, uh, come on. Give one character in view. Nope. Okay, at least we can continue with her. What is this with dark with Grand Masters? Okay, and that is a bit of an epilepsy hazard. Not not a giant one, but still. Yeah. Normally, they, at least nowadays, they warn you. Put it on the front of the game. There's a warning about it. Oh, hello again. Um, yeah, might as well top up a bit, even though we're just going to lose all of that again. Uh, that's just funny that an orc is running a shop in the middle of enemy territory and allowing us in. And this smells of final boss. Or not yet. Okay, what are you? Some sort of Kenku? I don't think they were a thing by then, yeah. Oh, uh, hello. My God. Come on, give me that. What? Okay, I, I retract my word. This is the give me your money bag, boss. Or can we just focus on the hag? I don't know how to read that name. It says Nagpa, something like that. Back to the dwarf. Sit still. How did hell did it even hit us there? It's still... Okay, I'm, I get the feeling if we kill her, then the monsters will vanish. I'm hoping at least. How do we keep missing? Okay, at least one more hit should finish her off. You are leaving, damage her. Yeah. 
Ich hab noch mal gerade viel zu wenig gespielt. Kaputt. There we go. Fire resistance. And we don't get to see what's in the box. Uh, you know what? No name. It's getting annoying now. And here we go. The sorceress. Wait, is that the damn dragon? <laughs> I'm not trying to eat you. And of course, immediately the ring of fire resistance gets broken right after we get it. Now, even on, even on supposed weakling, this game it will just, will just devour your virtual coins. Now, oh, come on, not again. And okay, the elf also can't see their health. Is that something only the dwarf can do? It doesn't matter. Just nail this bitch with magic missiles. Okay, that's all of those. Now let's see, can we hit me with this? How did I dodge that? Oh, that's a brass attack. And an instant kill brass attack at that. Okay, back to the dwarf and let's stay with the dwarf. Wait, hello, let's What is going on? Okay. It showed her health earlier. What the hell? Is that was that because of some item that we picked up without noticing? Ugh, come on. Well, if that wasn't the item, would be broken by long ago. Oh, no, Wait, did, did she heal up? Or did we just deal so little damage? <clears throat> yeah, there's just n not enough warning on in most of these fireballs to dodge them. Especially since you can't run upwards. Come on. And yeah, because I had to restart the stream now, because of the router dying, I have no clue how long we've been going in total now. And honestly, this is starting to frustrate me enough to just want to quit after this. That in case the router dies again. Yeah, um, oh god. It's uh, almost through. What the fuck? It... Yeah, I, th I think after we beat this, uh, we just stop early. How the hell do I pull off that stupid slide? Oh, come on. Are we going to win this by simply respawning? Yeah. And immediate instant kill again without anywhere to hide. Yeah. This game isn't just more difficult. It's also just plain bullshit. Yeah, but at the same time, you damage her heavily by respawning. This is... How the... Again, nothing... <sighs> How do I draw here? Are you meant to kill her by that time you have several times? No. 
it, it, like it. No, it's doing that because the you know, difficulty is set so low. Ah. Yeah. After, after this, I'm going to call it. Now I'm just getting fucking pissed off with. Yeah, I don't stand. And the next, that other game can wait for next week. Yeah, which one game was that? Yeah, it's a game I haven't tried myself before. I must have picked it up during a sale or something. Because, yeah, I'm obviously, after this, I'm not going to be in the right mindset to judge that game fairly. Yeah, understandable. There we go. Now give it the best ending and fuck off. Wait, do we have one more boss after that is still achievement unlocked final chapter? I'm getting stronger, level ten. Oh, what? <laughs> Well, that's also one way to beat an arch fiend, which I'm guessing that is supposed to be. <laughs> Just bombard the absolute hell out of it. Especially Dinsdale, who? Where? Huh? Who the hell is Dinsdale? Is that a modified on the current? Wait, that's good words. Wait. And was that text the ending? And... Okay, if if the only real differences in the ending are like uh, yeah, text differences, then uh, yeah, that kills off the uh, maybe hmm. Maybe in the other endings, the, those airships don't show up or something. Might be. Nope. But I'm not in any moods to find out. Yeah. You, you, de you deserve a break for it. I can't stand. I would be so frustrated myself. Okay, a lot of items that we could have found. Which yes, is levitation. Yeah, the reason we could have upgraded our axe to be even bigger. And somehow we still got like a m 10 million points? No, no, 1 million points. And why did it say Dean's name? Maybe that's the character's name? That may explain it, and it just not to uh, default name. And. Okay, are we supposed to be able to see any of these or something? Oh well. Okay, Tower of Doom 1993, and then it's, I think it said Shadow of Mistara 98. 99, I think, even. Okay. Or that character class can't use it. Okay, that also makes sense. Okay, let's have a look. Is this... Okay, VP is those gems we've been getting. Let's see, what is all of this? Flame salamander. Fl oh, okay, that is some <laughs> that is some good art. Yeah, probably old, the old concept art, probably even. Let's see, what else is there? Can we Knoll Wolf? Can we get? Okay, we can get some a preview of that without having that brought up. Black Dragon, not as cool, but well, it's still Dragon. 
Red Dragon. Scales? There are different types of scales they were trying or thinking of. Blast Radius. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, and also different dragon sizes. This is, this is more from like a, a monster manual. Is yeah, gargantuan dragons are big ass. Wait, is this like, like is this supposed to be from the Japanese game menu? Well, this doesn't look like it, but, but maybe some books would be this detailed. Now, if it were Japanese, well, it wouldn't have English wording, I'd say. True. I'm used to in uh, depending on era that the. Uh, some companies were going on their method, but the Japanese just went all hand. Okay, there we go. Wait, there's a beholder somewhere? Uh, yeah, beholders are dangerous beasts. Yeah, and ugly. More concept arts. Ah, yeah, the old be beholders. <laughs> if you thought the, if you thought the modern ones weren't ugly enough. Yeah, this ugly and scary is worse, and you have your plain ugly. And yeah, and this I, is the old in the art I recognize. Yeah, Where this is you? first edition uh, era, I think. Yeah. Ghoul, cobalt, troglodyte, more ghoul. I guess okay, draw, yeah, <laughs> yeah. This must be talked about to the out in years and probably even after they released uh, the two games. Set mystery secret files. What? Okay. Uh, I guess they had a sequel plan. No, the. Shadow of Mistara the sequel, they are talking about this game, about Shadow of Mistara as the sequel to Tower of Doom. Oh, uh, alright. I was... Okay, is there any... Are these just covers? Yeah, these, <laughs> these are covers, apparently. Yep, wrong button. Because... Yeah, having random buttons for everything is just plain stupid. Okay, where were those again? Here we go. Okay. I'm guessing this is the Japanese back of the game. This may be that probably the front. Why is this a secret file? Wait. Are these extra game modes you can unlock? Equipable items have infinite durability, never work about... Okay, if I ever do play this again, that is going on and staying on. Yeah, I feel like that would make the game more bearable. The rich cereals revive. Every time you take damage, it depletes your gold, not your health. If you run out of gold, you'll perish. Okay. <laughs> In Monty Python, there is a hedgehog called Dimsdale. All chests require no keys to unlock, and enemies and chests drop tons of SP. Let's go with that one instead. And... Yeah, maybe we can add this game to the uh, Sideshow Shadow Day, or the uh, extra game... Uh, why is the word again? I'm I'm drawing a complete blank on the wording. Uh, rotation. You know, maybe we can add this game to the uh, ro to the rotation of extra games to play. Uh, even though, yeah, th this it pissed me off here. Maybe. Okay, maybe we maybe we can try this online mode sometime. And what do we have here? 
Ok. 15 pieces of armor. Wait. Oh, I'm, I'm guessing it must mean like the boots and such. Because I'm I, specific, I don't remember picking up any chest pieces or such. Yeah, only in, you try to grab a key and uh, moot maybe in boots and maybe a belt or two. Wait, so open 50 chests twice with the dwarf? Does it. I noticed that if we uh, attacked a chest, it would drop extra goodies. So is is that what it meant? That basically the dwarf has the special abilities of being able to see enemy health and to loot chests twice? Oh, hmm. Yeah, the dwarf is surprisingly OP. And what is this desperate no, attacks? Okay. Equip five no, weapons by selecting from inventory. And what? That's if I... Damage 3 on dead, return on dead. 3 cannonball attacks, what? Up, up down technique? Okay, is there anything here that just plain up tells us what the hell? How to play? It's, it's floor slides. Okay. So a semicircle and jump. Crouch, we pulled off plenty of time. Wait. Oh. Okay. This makes some more sense. That these are these are techniques available to everyone. And then there are specific ones. Okay, a radial axe slam that kills all nearby enemies cause minor vitality. We, we've never pulled that off. Down, up, and attack. Rolling attack with the other game, but... hmm. Hold and release attack to knock down the enemy. Eh? Power attack. If we had this earlier, it thought things would probably be a slightly easier. Yeah. Dash attack, that's one they all seem to have, I think. Long jump. Wait, defend. Is that that back roll? Oh, okay. So double jump, trying pressing jump quickly makes you roll backwards. Okay. And destroys any open chest to gain more coins. Okay, yeah. Guard counter. Okay. Alright, having any of that... Having known any of that earlier would have been much, much easier. <laughs> Yeah, and then how to play the but not in there all the time. I must have comment on it earlier, but he got a bit distracted. Yeah, I, I I expected it would be more like how to move around and such. Like the absolute not it when you when you do press it, it does show you oh, this. And uh, yeah, it is my impartially my fault for not noticing this up here. But yeah, there, it, there, still there, there, if it when something says all Generally, it means of everything, so you think that it would have included all of these. But, oh well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I am calmed down more now, but still... Uh, yeah, I think we've put... I think we've had enough mechanical problems now. And, yeah, the game still pissed me off. Yeah, you need a break, man. Yeah. So, yeah. Sorry for breaking the promise of no, not playing the second game for an hour. Uh, but, yeah, we'll get to it next week then. <clears throat> for now, though. No, wait. Treasures found. Okay, that's all of these things. Okay. 
Anyways then, let's have a look if uh, any people actually <laughs> kept watching through that. Commands. And now it's... Why are you not working correctly, stupid app? Okay, the app are saying that I wasn't streaming. So let's see then. Come on. The internet... Come on, it's this... It didn't reconnect. Come on. Come on. I guess I'll have to use... OBS's then, which has been, a, which is a bit infamous for missing people, though it supposedly automatically removes bots. So, okay, that's a lie, or it marks people as bots. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, according to these, there's only bots watching. So, oh well. Uh, yeah, the, but I'd say with okay <clears throat> with the OBS chat feature, it allows me to press on the <clears throat> it it allows me to see how many posts people have made and how when their account has been made and such. And yeah, all of these have zero messages across like a full decade of existing. So all of these are bots. So yeah, I should I should probably just outright ban them to remove them from the counts. But oh well, that that is a bit hard to do when they don't make any posts, so they can't be banned. Which is I guess the whole thing with these non-speaking bots. But then as always, anyways, special thanks to you, Dick here. Oh, you're most welcome. And yeah, uh, in two days more orcs must die. And this time I won't forget to move to this freaking <clears throat> to the freaking outro like I did last time. So <laughs> yeah. Until then, until then. Be safe folks.